Good morning, everyone. Can you see? Are we close enough? I think so. Just got out of the shower. I pulled my hair back. My daughter is supposed to be coloring my hair, hopefully, today. Because I have lots and lots of gray going on. Anyway, I'm in that, like, I'm I'm hot. I don't know why. It's cold outside, but probably because I just got out of the shower. I'm putting my, I already did my serum, my It Skin Serum in the bathroom. And now I'm putting on, I show this in my Makeup Monday pretty often when I'm just doing kind of like a light makeup look. This is the L'Oreal Cell Renewal. I love it. I love the smell. I love the little rosy color. I'm going to have to get some more. I'll link all this below for you. So I'm doing that and having my coffee. And right now, I am... So if you didn't know, I do have a Facebook group called Bargain Connection. Some of you said you had trouble finding it. I'm not sure why, but I have it linked below for you. If you click that link, it'll just take you right to it. And it's a public group, so you can just click it and you're in. We've got about 745 people in there right now but it's basically just us girls hanging out there are a few men in there there's a few men in there that enjoy it but it's all about shopping and that's one thing that i really enjoy but not just like any shopping i like to look for the best deals so what i've got going today just so you know i've got myself plugged in all over the place. I've been working on this for a few months now. So I've got myself plugged in where I'm connected to some companies that do these discounted deals. And so I usually get them a day ahead to know that they're gonna be coming out. So the night before or at four o'clock in the morning with my little coffee here, I'll get up and then I review everything that they sent me of what's going to be going on really good sale or not so good sale and then I create themes on my page so like today I was looking at this this morning and this is going to be dangerous for me this is going to be a lot of self-buying but today our theme is designer handbags and coach Ralph Lauren some of these designer companies have some great great sales out right now and generally those sales only last for one day so I post them in the group if you're interested then you just click the link and you get the sale price so anyway that's what I'm doing this morning is because I want to get all of these bags scheduled out so anybody who's interested I just got two of them I mean I just some of these I love crossbodies because I like to have my hands free so anyway and with those crossbodies I know I'm on a tangent right now but with those crossbodies it forces me not to carry a gigantic purse because I'm one of those people that will do that otherwise so I have to kind of minimize it down because it has to go in the crossbody and there's one right now a coach one that's hunter green and I, I'm getting it. I mean, I, I have to. It's under $100. So anyway, all of that. That is what I'm doing this morning. I know for sure I am going to fast until 11 o'clock today, and I might fast until noon. I've got a little sugar in my system because my daughter and I have been doing this cookie challenge to ourselves, and you have to taste the cookies. Now, granted, am I eating enormous amounts of cookies? No, I am not. But I just feel it. I just, I, like I always say, my body does not love sugar. It just doesn't absorb it well. It doesn't make me feel good. And my body loves to, to kind of take on pre-diabetic numbers if I'm not careful with that. So, you know, we have, we have to watch that. So I'm going to fast. That helps get it out of my system. But tonight, we're back at it because we still haven't hit that cookie recipe yet. Can you believe that? We still, we're dialed in, but we're not quite there. Listen, I'm just saying it out loud. I'm just saying it out loud. If you live in the St. Louis area, or even if you don't, but if you do, you probably know what I'm talking about. In historic St. Charles, they have this place called Grandma's Cookies. 
And I don't know, maybe they ship cookies. I'm giving them a ton of publicity here right now, but they have the absolute best, least expensive cookies. That They are so good. So I know there's no specialty ingredient because they're selling these cookies for $10 a dozen and they're monstrously big they, and they are so good. So it has to be basic ingredients. They cannot be doing anything specialty. So if anybody happens to know their secret recipe out there, ready to make some breakfast. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. So that is perfect for my intermittent fasting. I am going to have this better. I always call this better than oats. That's not right, is it? It's better oats, maple and brown sugar. There are 31 carbs in this pouch, which is my max max i do all of this is down below in the description box by the way in terms of what i eat breakfast lunch dinner snack for my carb count my goals are down below always it's permanently down there but i do need to scan and for you guys let me see what the weight watchers points are six six weight watchers points on this now see for me I'm gonna get dinged pretty hard because I'm putting peanut butter in this let me go grab my peanut butter where is my peanut butter Ooh, you know what I have an idea I do have peanut butter, but I also have PB2. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that instead. And that will cut down on both points, calories. Carbs are probably gonna be about the same, five grams of carbs for two tablespoons. But the calorie difference will be substantial. I don't mind. You know, I'm doing my own little hybrid here. I do my own thing. What works for me, works for me. And you should do that for you as well. We're just kind of walking a fine line. Sometimes people feel like, grab a spoon here. Sometimes people will say, well, that's not keto or that's not low carb or you're going over Weight Watchers points. And you know what? I do what works for me. And what works for me is kind of like a hybrid in between both. So like I said, the amount of carbs I eat does fall into a reasonable low carb number. You need something, Kevin? Okay. Um, you know, when I'm doing these vlogs, that's going to happen. People coming in and out. And I told my family, don't worry about it. You know, if I'm filming, I'm filming. That is real life. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of, you know, with my carbs being under 100, that is considered low carb. And I have some kind of people that want to tell me it is not. And maybe, I, I mean, definitely it's not keto numbers, but it does fall into a low carb number. And, ooh, it's dangerous. I go for something a little more balanced that works for me that I can do longer term. So you know what I just realized? I was looking at my um, tablespoon measuring thing. I'm putting a little cinnamon in there right now. I was looking at it and I thought, you know what? That's not one tablespoon. I was using a two tablespoon measure, so I updated that to be four tablespoons. Now that is raising the carbs pretty substantially. That does take me out of what I try to do at 30 carbs per meal. Just a little bit over, but it does take me over. 
And the Weight Watchers points, no big deal. It's only two points for four um, tablespoons of the PB2. So I added a little cinnamon, and this is gonna be super delicious for breakfast this morning. Like I always say, when I'm trying to get the carbs pulled down a little bit, my body, it kind of fights me. So I need a fake candy bar. So this will absolutely do the trick for me. Six points is pretty hefty, but it's okay. When you eat low carb, it tends to be whole foods. Now, obviously this is not a whole food, but when you're eating things like meat, and eggs and vegetables, things like that. You know, you're, you really are eating a lot cleaner in my opinion. So we can work in a little fake candy bar here and there, right? Chemicals never, never hurt anybody. Not around here anyway. Okay, so let me just kind of walk you through this. 29 total carbs, and I showed you that six points, didn't I? I think I did. 29 total carbs. So you can see right there alone, why it would be hard to stay under 20, which is keto. I'm not doing keto, I'm just doing low carb. So low carb is not high fat. I'm working on dinner. Look at the size of this carrot. It's like a branch. Anyway, I'm working on dinner. It's still early in the day. It's about, I don't know, 12.30, quarter to one. And I wanna get this pork in the crock pot so that it can slow cook all day. That is my favorite way to make pork and a lot of other things, honestly. So I'm just peeling some carrots. I love carrots. My daughter who lives with me has, um, I was gonna say Crohn's, she does have Crohn's, but she also has COVID. And as you know, I just got over COVID and now she has it and it's hitting her really hard. Um, she's got an awful headache. She feels horrendously bad. I didn't feel good, but I feel like she feels worse than me. I feel bad for her. She's had it several times, but I don't know. It's different every single time, just like it is for everyone. So anyway, I'm trying to make a good, healthy meal. Do you hear that I'm out of breath? See, I'm still kind of having a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, residual effect from it where, because for me, it'll just hit me in the lungs and that's what I deal with. So anyway, I have a pork tenderloin in here and I am going to add, I just put it in about 15 minutes ago and I've got this on high, so I'm adding garlic and smoked paprika. I'm gonna finish this one up. I don't have much left. I love paprika. I really, really like smoked paprika. I like the Spanish one too, that's really good. Salt and pepper. And then what I like to do is let this hang out for a while because this will throw liquid off and I'm going to get the carrots in there in maybe an hour maybe even not that long. Last time I made this I did not put the carrots in long enough and I I like them a little bit hard but not super hard. I don't want them to be crunchy. So I've got this on high and I am just going to chop up some carrots
Okay, it's been about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a cup of water into our crock pot, and then I'm also gonna add some flavor. This was a plain pork tenderloin, by the way. So we're adding all the flavor in, and I'm gonna use this sweet chili hot sauce. You've seen this goofy one before. I think I've shown this to you. I brought it home from Florida because I love it. It's so good. If you have a Tijuana Flats near you, that's where I got this. Um, who makes it? I have no idea. I've never been able to find it online. I mean, you know, I don't know if you can read that, but they think they're being funny. And me being me, I have to turn it so the kids can't read it in the pantry. All right, I'm going to do four tablespoons of this. It's just a sweet chili sauce with no heat. That's why I like it, because I, I don't like to do heat. It bothers me. I like the flavor, but I don't like the heat. Exactly like a jalapeno. I like the flavor, and I love stuffed jalapenos, but I don't like the heat. Let me show you what this looks like. I hope you can see that, because I cannot see what you're looking at. So, that's where we are. Let me know in comments. Do you enjoy these type of videos? You know, I know this is different with Vlogmas, because if I'm vlogging every day, I am literally vlogging life. So let me know if this, I don't want anybody being bored. You know, I can always stop doing these if people are bored. But anyway, let me know in comments. So I'm going to let this go for hours. This is going to cook for probably five hours because it'll get really, really soft and tender. And I'm going to keep it on high for as long as I can. We are hours and hours and hours later. And this pork is done, very much done. I ended up going to the eye doctor. I got glasses, I got contacts, I am hungry. And this smells so good, I am so glad that I started this earlier today. All right, let me show you this. Oh my goodness, this smells so delicious.